and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a products I have hit pan on video so I will show you all my pan porn. If you have followed along this channel and my Danish channel where I did project panning before this one you will have seen a lot of these products. I will just show you all my pan porn and there is a lot and there are some eyeshadows, highlighters, bronzers, powders, stuff like that. So I'll just get started. So let's start off with all my complexion products. And the first thing I have is my e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer. It looks like this and I have a massive pan in the bronzer. And I have repressed the blush so it had a ton of pan. I will show you a picture if I can find one. How it looked like before I repressed it. That is my first product and hopefully I will have this blush finished before the year is over. If you want me to do another one next year, please let me know. For a bronzer, I have my Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder for lighter skin. I have this in a project called Drop Tin Before Summer. I did a finale on this channel and the other updates is on the other one. This pan is very shallow. This is only plastic and the pan is down here. So if I focus on this maybe next year, because it didn't take me that long to hit pan on it, because it is for lighter skin, so I can pack this on, even though I'm very pale, very pale. Another bronzer is this one. It is my natural bronzer from Rimmel London. I have repressed this and I'm using it every single day right now. So hopefully this will be gone by the end of the year. For two powders I have hit pan on is my Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. This is my second compact of this. So I really, really, really love this powder. And yeah, it's amazing for setting your concealer under your eyes and setting your face in general. So I love this powder. I will never be without it at all. So amazing, especially for lighter skin tones. <laughs> then I have my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. It is called Dolce de Leclerc. I don't know. I have pan in the powder side here, the highlighting side. I love this powder for setting my concealer as well. This is more yellow tone than the other one. It has a white cast in the beginning, but it's translucent. Um, and actually, I have triple pan in this powder. I will insert a photo or something so you can see what I mean. But yeah, it is so cool and I love this duo so much. Then I have a big highlighting palette. It is from Mega Revolution. It is the Ultra Pro Glow Palette. I have pan in three highlighters here. The yellow, the very pale white-ish shade and the pale peachy shade. I love these highlighters. I don't think they bring out the texture of your skin. Some people say that, but I really, really like them. And the pans are shallow as well, so they're not very hard to hit pan on. I love them for highlighting, eyeshadows, you name it. These are very, very good and very, very cheap. I'm very sorry if I'm rushing through this, but but if you have any questions, please leave them down below because I don't know what to say other than what I am saying about the products. Because if you hit pan on a product, you obviously really like them. Then I have my e.l.f. eyebrow kit in light and I use this every single day right now. And I have massive pan on the brow powder and the wax as well. I love this stuff so much. This is my second time buying this kind of e.l.f. eyebrow kit. I had one in medium that I used up last year and then I have this in light and I like the lighter one better than the medium one even though I have a darker hair color and when I color my hair it is even darker so I like this one a lot. Then I have my panda palette but I can upload this and show you guys even without any spoilers or anything because I just up uploaded my Panda Palette update Tuesday, yeah. I have the W7 in the City Natural Nudes Palette and I have pan in all of the shades besides this darker grey one. Maybe I can hit pan on it next year, maybe I can't. And I'm almost done with this cream, white-ish cream shade here. I really like this palette and I'm very happy to be using it this year. And then I have my smaller C palette that was my Frankenstein 
C palette basically and I have a lot of pan born in this as well this red shade is from Catrice it is a single shadow this is a single shadow as well it is in my finished 13 by Sanctuary so this is kind of a spoiler because I made a bit of progress since my panda palette on that one yeah these are my Frankenstein shadows here so I have pan on five of them out of six this pen right here doesn't count because it wasn't there when I repressed them. I have pen on those and of course this one. But yeah, I will talk about that right now. Because it is a part of my bigger C palette here with all the remaining shades that I have pen on. So this is my C palette with a lot of pen born. <laughs> because I have pen in almost every single shade besides this one here because they are not in my panda palette this year. It just needed a place to be, practically. Basically, it just needed a place to be, and this is a <laughs> place I can come up with. So yeah, these are my panda palette shadows for this year that I have hit pan on. Um, these here doesn't count at the moment because they are in my panda palette revamp. Check out the video if you are confused and don't know what I'm talking about. I will explain it much more in that video. Um, and then I have a highlighter up here that I use as a blush chopper because it's a bit dark for me to be used as a highlighter. I have repressed that as well. So that will be gone fairly easy if I just use it. I don't plan on using it right now. I won't pull this out just to use the highlighter. So when I have room in my small C palette, I will be using that one. So the last two items I have is two single shadows. The one here, the purple one, is from Neil Shore. And I have a massive pan on that one. It is a Danish brand, so that's why. And yeah, I really, really love this one. And this one is from Maybelline. It is called Copper Fizz. I can't remember what line it was from, but it is beautiful cover shade. That is all the items I have pan on right now. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want a part two or an updated one next year or when I have finished up some more products and hit pan on some other ones, please let me know. I will gladly do it. Please subscribe down below so you can follow my progress on the product pans that I just talked about. And like this video in you liked it and follow more social media and please take care until I will see you in my next video.